small mall. That's not a bad small mall. No, not right here. Well, they're all pretty much like this size. That's spawning right now. I think. I just seen stuff come out of it. Squeeze them a little bit. First fish of the day. Chandler still has yet to get one, but it's alright. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I did not expect the first fish to be a small mall. Well, you're with me. What do you expect? <laughs> you know? He hit that thing so hard. I thought I was snagged. <laughs> it turns off for me. Um, no, I literally, like, I thought it was going to be... I could just get off the sun motor and stay in one spot. But... That could have been a bluegill, honestly. A ball of a bluegill. I bet you could catch a bluegill on a rip and wrap here. Oh my god, them lily pads for bluegill. I don't care, I'm almost done with my cast anyways. They seen my lure and said, "What the hell is that?" Getting around here. Hey guys, a few minutes ago, well, probably been about an hour, hour and a half. A few uh, minutes ago. Oh yeah, just a few minutes ago. Um, we found some bedding smallmouth, but with the intense wind we're having today, it blew us right over the top of them. So we're gonna go back and see if we can't put some fish in the boat. I lost two the last time we were over there, so hopefully this time I'll actually catch one. <laughs> Lose a few more. Scott didn't even hook up on one, hey, so. Hey, who's got the one fish, brother? Oh, true, true, but we'll see how this goes. <laughs> but if stuff doesn't work out here, we might have to go try another lake. Guys, we got a bed there, there, and there. I just seen a small mole swim by right there. Alright, for those of you who don't know me, Rip and Wrap is my go-to lure, and it is my go-to lure. I talked Chandler into it, he's putting on a Rip and Wrap. Yep. That's it, and it's probably all around the bass fishing world, the go-to bait. Not just for bass. Hopefully, oh definitely, At, for bedding bass. Everybody, right. everybody talks about the Rip and Wrap. Yep. <laughs> totally. Yeah, I'm going with this one right here. Ooh, face. That's a smiley too, isn't it? Okay. Is that on the rip and wrap? Yep. Are you kidding me? He's got a munch. He was the best bass game ever. Proof, it is indeed a rip and wrap. <laughs> Best is lure. The same color you that I got? No. Close, kinda. Kinda. Yours is right. pink. Oh. <laughs> right on the rip and wrap, guys. No idea where it's in on the camera, but it's probably a 17 inch fish, 18 inch maybe. Measure her up. Dude, she munched it. As soon as I hit the bottom, I just felt I landed it right in her bed. And just thunk. All right, that's bed number one. Yeah, Chandler uh, tied it up one line. Finally got one off the bed. Probably just gonna camp uh, camp out here, see if the wind dies. <coughs> now we're gonna make our decision on whether or not we're gonna try and catch a lake trout. Is my, is my is it blinking red? Uh, maybe. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it's blinking red. Okay, so I'm gonna have pretty good footage there of your face. There you go. That can be your thumbnail. Give her a nice release. <laughs> I figure it's 17. 17? You're pretty Not good bad. at calling them. Not bad at all. And remember that day? 17 and a half? Yeah. It's probably 17, 18. Yeah, it's probably 17 and a half. That's amazing. I think that's amazing.